Everywhere offers a work experience package. Um, I think the problem with the work experience strand of the diploma is it's called work experience. As soon as you say work experience, there's a preconception about that. Work experience, traditionally a 10-day stint of tea making and office admin. But with the new diplomas, schools and employers will need to take a professional approach. Same 10 days, but delivered over a period of time to allow for preparation and reflection on all sides. 50% of the diploma is to be taught through applied learning. Learning in work-related contexts. Students will learn alongside industry professionals, using specialist equipment and facilities, gearing them up for the world of work. Diplomas are new qualifications and they'll be brought in really to, to give a, a more real-world context to education that will enable young people to experience their learning but with a vision to where it might go and how it fits in with their later life. So I think it's quite important to see diplomas as, as, as learning in context, not necessarily vocational education. In South Birmingham, teachers from the Creative and Media Consortium will be teaming up with their local higher education college to utilise the specialist resources and expertise of the teaching professionals that this sort of working environment offers. We're at South Birmingham College and we know that if we take the new diploma next year, some of our lessons will take place here. We want to find out how much time we'll be spending here and what sort of things we'll get up to. Let's go find out some more. Let's come this way. We've got a games design course. They're actually doing uh, 3D modelling, creating rooms, creating environments using a programme called 3D S Max. What I'm doing right now is just making a simple environment. It's for an assignment. We don't only do like 3D yeah. graphics. We do um, comics, concept art. We have to do research. We have assignments. You know, you got deadlines and yeah. projects. So you'll get a better understanding of the industry. You know. Yeah. Cool. Okay, I'm going to take you down to some of our music studios. All of the rooms are used for music practice and there are technology studios as well. Hello, this is, this is Nigel. Nigel Darvis, professional okay. musician. I run the music practice course, which is music performance, and also teach recording studio. This is part of the, the curriculum content you'll be studying. Some of you will be studying as use recording studio, some of you will be studying performance and doing some performances in the auditorium. These students in here who are um, making this wonderful sound today, um, they're working towards uh, producing a CD of their material, which is why they're in today. You know, recordings that come out of here are at a professional standard. So far I've been to the graphic studio and the music studio. Oh yeah, and the dance studio. That was the bit I enjoyed best. I liked the music studio, even though it was noisy. I know, my ears are still ringing. <laughs> probably quite a bit bigger than anything that you have at school. I think we can get 400 people in here and it is a purpose-built facility, a professional facility. This facility is also used by people from outside who hire the facility. If we were to be doing the new diploma next year, then what will we be doing here within the lessons? The nature of the new diploma is that it gives you the opportunity to actually sort of pick and mix those options. So you might want to do some dance and you might also want to learn how to operate a television camera. So how often will we come here? Upward of at least one afternoon a week, probably more like a whole day every week. Um, but I would like to think that sort of as, as this programme of study develops is that this college and the facilities here would be available to you on a kind of as and when you needed them. Basis. Will our teachers be teaching us here or will it be teachers from the actual college? You will be being taught by the teachers at the college. In the case of the creative studies, all of the staff have had professional experience and professional training in their chosen field. We've really enjoyed our tour and we've learnt some really interesting things. 
It's really convinced me that I'd like to take the diploma next year. It's a very new way of working and there are issues that raise their heads very frequently. If you're going to move students around, the classic ones would be, for instance, timetabling and transport. It would seem relatively easy and that it has its own difficulties. One of the, the ways that, that diplomas are developing is really to offer those challenges out to the, the, the vanguard of the movement and see what the solutions are and then share those solutions to, to see what works and what doesn't. Using the knowledge and skills of industry professionals on a regular basis gives one route for diploma students to access work-related experiences. But the teachers in this consortium are keen to explore other ways too. They're bringing an Education Business Links partner on board. The impact of employers this time is actually quite fundamentally different to the past. I think we need to, to have this idea of work experience being more fluid. And certainly um, I know that we in our consortium have talked about a, a whole range of strategies and one where we're not just looking at this block of young, where the young person goes out and maybe we're looking at work experience over a period of time so we can see the development of the skills and that work experience clearly then moves them on to the next level. The biggest commitment we could think of was to provide an extended work experience for a level three studio in the workplace. The lightest commitment we could think of was just to provide resources via your website for people to use for research. I mean, it's just a virtually a yes and a click. Between that, we've got visits, we've got speakers in, we've got hosting young people visiting the workplace. The other protocol we've got to work at is how do we actually manage the interface between you as a need group, the central area as a need group, and the other gateways as they come down. And today, of course, I'm looking to see what you need and also getting from the employers what they need. So it is a two-way process. It's about coordination, and this will only be effective with quality communication between schools and employers. Jenny joins performing arts and drama teachers from the consortium as they take a behind the stage tour of the repertory theatre. We want kids to see wardrobe working and we want them to know what wardrobe does. Large companies such as the Rep will be handling high volumes of requests for work experience and in order to make them more targeted for the diplomas they are in the process of designing online vocation stations. I am keen to have this as one of the venues for the vocation stations online mm -hmm. because if you imagine a fly on the wall in here when the guys are making something which is particularly impressive. It would almost be better than seeing it live because sometimes I know when I've been in and we've had 25 kids in here you can't actually see whereas today you can sort of see yeah, much more see whereas if it's on camera yeah. you can get a more intense view of what's going on anyway. And the bonus of the vocation station idea is that he'd be able to talk to us then while he's doing it about mm -hmm. how he got into yeah. it and things. But what I think would be most interesting to them is to actually have that hands-on mm. kind of mm. try at it. I mean I'm quite interested sure, in, yeah. in the idea of taking out those those small small skills like a little piece of rig lace and some hair mm. um, so that school students can have a tiny weeny go at that. Put them on webcam. Webcam. Across the city, a consortium soon to be piloting the engineering diploma are keen to ensure employer involvement from the start. What we're about is actually to work with schools and engage employers to actually make the impact of the diploma more effective. Helping young people and their teachers have the industrial resources, industrial people uh, and placements to enable them to actually teach the subjects by providing that hands-on. It's the launch of the engineering diploma and in the spirit of the consortium model, the five schools and their employers are all on board. I'm glad to see that the engineering diplomas in schools are going to be built around uh, employer engagement. There's a lot of interpersonal skills involved when you're doing engineering. Team working, uh, numeracy, problem solving, these are all very important skills regardless of what you're doing in life. This laboratory is like a giant sixth form common room with racing cars. Uh, all our students uh, who want to work on this project just turn up through the door when they arrive at university and they're with us for four years. They never leave the lab. I think it'll be like more work experience. So that'll be good to prepare you. It does give a lot of opportunities to, um, to actually experience uh, real, real life, the real career of, of engineering and what that could mean and, and to use equipment that wouldn't be at, at schools. They're making these biometric 
um, materials and it's uh, at a constant 20 degrees. And this thing to do with working out in the real world, I think that um, it will give you an advantage so that you can go and get a job and it will give you an idea of what sort of jobs are available. For many years employers have been asking schools to, to, to educate young people ready for work. What we really need now is for employers to be involved in that and really join the two together so that we have something that works for young people and for employers. But, but let's not make the point this is not a vocational course and we're not just educating young people so they can get a job. This is an education for the, for the development of the young person in all sorts of skill areas but with a, a real world focus. So how are businesses and industry planning to develop young people? And how will the work experience placement be key? We join students at Land Rover to find out. First things first, a professional working experience means professional attire. Welcome to Land Rover lads. We're going to have an exciting day together. Lots of work to do. Hope you're all keen. The new engineering diploma will be more vocational and will allow students to actually spend time within industry understanding the implications of working in a real-life environment. A quick trip to where they'll be working and to meet their new boss. George Sims, I manage the workshop, so yeah? Sam. Hi, Sam. Uh, yeah. Hi, Max. Connor. Connor. Jake. Jake. Russell. Russell. Hello, Russell. Nice to meet you guys. Down on the factory floor, George gives them their jobs for the day. Time to get their hands dirty. Right. right there, just take a look. There's your marks, there's your minimum, your maximum mark, and you see it's just between the two. We currently offer work experience placements within Land Rover, and the process for us at the moment is a young person will be placed within a department of Land Rover for a one or two week placement. With the new diploma, it will need to be far more targeted. They'll spend individual days or two day placements within one particular area and they will have, have specific set objectives they need to gain from that placement. And then that will have to be achieved before they can move on to another placement. So how do you know the ideal tyre pressure? With these cars, you've got a tyre pressure monitoring system. If you've got a low tyre pressure, including the spare, it'll flag up on the binnacle to show you that one of the tyres is below pressure. Instead of us offering as many work experience placements that we're currently offering, we'll probably offer fewer, but they'll be more targeted. It will mean that the young people will get a more valuable work experience placement. Could this be the impact on tomorrow's workforce that industry and commerce really needs? When I'm in the workplace, I think I'll find it more of a real life experience and hopefully I'll be able to learn more this way. I'll be able to meet and work with new people from the industry. It'll be hands on, so I think I'll remember more. I'll get inside information and see what it might be like when I'm older.